In this lesson, we're going to look at how to close a browser window or tab with JavaScript. So in a previous lesson, we looked at how to open new tabs in a browser using the window.open function. So it's a fair assumption to think that there might be a window.close function as well. And you're absolutely right, there is one, but it doesn't work in quite the way you would expect it to behave. For example, I'm just browsing to google.com at the moment. So if I try to use the window.close function here, You'll see I get a warning message in the console and the tab doesn't actually close in the browser. And that's because as the message suggests, you just can't randomly close any tab using the window.close function. So you can't just add that into the code on your page if you want to close the window that the user is browsing to at any particular time. But you can use the close function if you've already opened a tab with the window.open function. So for example, if I just go and open another website, If I head on over to the console and try that window.close function again, you will see that the window.close function does actually allow us to close that additional tab even though the code is run on the Stack Overflow website. Because it's been opened with a window.open function to start with, we remain in control of the script and can run that close function once we're done with that tab. So I guess this might be useful if you've got a site and you're wanting to open a new tab to perform a certain action like fill in a form or show the user some other information. And when they're done with that additional tab, you can just call the window.close function and the user will be taken back to the original page. So there you have it. To close a browser tab or window with JavaScript, you simply use window.close, but you can only run that code on pages that have been opened with the window.open function.